Hi guys, hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to share the products, um, all the products that I emptied into 2021. So I have not collected empties for the entire one year, uh, but these empties are just for the last four months. Like whatever I used up, I was collecting it in a separate uh, separate box. And since our house was going through major renovations, I just could not film the empty video at that point of time. I just filmed whatever was necessary and important. So now that I'm, uh, now that renovations are done, let me dig out all those empties and show them to you in this video. So all these products that I'm going to show you were emptied last year. This year, I have not been able to empty anything. No, I, I, ha I have emptied three products actually so I'm going to show you everything like a collective empties video so without wasting much time let's just jump right into it so how these empty videos work I share the uh, products that I have used up and how I feel about them since I've used them and uh, used them for a really long time how I feel about them are these worth buying or not everything so let's start with the Lakme nail polish remover uh, I have managed to finish I think two nail polish removers though I have chopped my nails but yeah so this is the one I was using for a really long time I managed to finish this up I like this it doesn't make my nails uh, brittle or white uh, I've used this up and I'm definitely buying it uh, in my next haul because I like this one this I think is a price of rupees uh, 100 or 70 rupees I don't remember but yes this is definitely a repurchase now here is a hair supplement from the brand Sulo if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen me talk about uh, this brand uh, they sent me a box of a jar of hair supplements I think four months ago and um, it was not for promotions they just wanted to send it to me to try out and see how this works and I, I really um, saw some difference in my hair like overall health of my hair um, I cannot really say what because my hair has always been healthy except the part where they were shedding like crazy after COVID I faced um, a huge hair fall duration like a phase where my hair were falling out like in chunks and then I started using the Sulo hair vitamins which were sent to me I was not very interested in using like trying the gummies initially but then I started using this and the composition like the ingredients list is very very good there are some really good um, vitamins and minerals here it has vitamin A which I mean it has retinol it has ascorbic acid it has vitamin D3, vitamin E, vitamin B6, folic acid, amla extract, B12, biotin and I have definitely seen it did not stop my hair fall after covid a lot of people uh, face hair fall issues it did not stop the hair fall but yes my hair I think it took me almost a month but then ever since I started uh, taking these multivitamins like hair supplements I have definitely seen uh, improvement in my hair's texture they look much more healthier, less frizzy there is a shine I do a lot of stories on Instagram and a lot of you, a lot of people who follow me on Instagram ask me this all the time that what I do for my hair. I keep on, I just change my hair, shampoo and conditioner all the time. I just, I'm not loyal to any one particular uh, shampoo and conditioner. I'm loyal to in ingredients, I'm not loyal to a brand. So if I'm liking a, a hair oil from some other brand, next time I'll use that. I'm not consistent with my hair care products. I'm only consistent with this one. This is my second bottle and it's almost done. And I think this has definitely improved my hair uh, health, overall hair health. I have seen a lot of regrowth in this area, a lot of small hair as you can see. But that can also be natural because I've been eating well. I'm not sure I cannot really tell you. I think it has contributed a lot to my overall hair health. And I am definitely going to buy it. I couldn't find it on Amazon. The women hair uh, supplement I couldn't find. So I have to buy from Sulo's website. This is an expensive supplement. I think this is for $12.99 or something. $14.99 it was on some discount when I bought it last time. So I'm going to purchase the Sulo hair vitamin for sure because it has suited me well. It has not caused any irritation or breakout and I like the taste so I'm going to buy it for sure. Next I have this a very gunky dirty looking bottle of plum body loving body oil vanilla wipes. This is my second bottle and I already have their Hawaiian Roomba body oil with me. I really like their body oils. Very good, very nourishing, especially this time of the year when it is very, very cold. These body oils are like godsend. And I also like the ingredients list here. It has some really good uh, ingredients. It has a sunflower oil and it has avocado oil, it has coconut oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, carrot oil. So a lot of good oils are here in this product. And this is not very expensive as well. Uh, I think this is a 550 rupees. It's an old bottle. 
um right now i don't remember how the how much the price is plum products you can buy on good discounts most of the times i already have a backup but in a different fragrance so i will highly recommend you guys to check this body oil out if you have dry itchy skin or if, or in any i mean in general if you are looking for a good body oil to be used during winters then do check this out next i have this amand amande cleansing shower oil from loxitan i really 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 like this this one i picked during one of my uh, amazon hauls i really liked how it smell and it is like the basic the concept is almost like your um, the cleansing oil you use for your face this emulsifies and turns milky when you apply it on your body and it doesn't make your skin dry at all i really like how it smells i have right now bioderma cleansing oil in my bath area which is what i have been using for the past i think one month if your skin is very dry you can use cleansing oils these are very good because they add so much moisture back to your skin this was an expensive product this was for 610 rupees for 75 ml so as much as i like this product i'm not going to repurchase it because it is very expensive the bioderma cleansing oil is also expensive i think it was for 1400 rupees or 1200 rupees i don't remember but you get 200 ml uh it's still you can i mean like still you can consider buying that but this one is very expensive the product is very very good it's like indulging yourself into a luxury the product is very good i'm just not repurchasing it because of the price tag this is my first time purchase of a hair oil from ras luxury this is ras luxury luscious treatment hair oil i cannot tell you how much i love this hair oil this is such a beautiful formulation and the ingredients list right here is very very good it has argan oil as as the first ingredient which means majority of it is argan oil argan oil then jojoba seed oil almond oil castor oil grape seed oil coconut oil moringa oil it also contains rosemary oil which is like proven for hair regrowth so i really really love this one this is 50 ml very little quantity and i paid 1690 but i bought it during a 30% sale so i think i paid around 1100 or something but still it is very very expensive so I will definitely repurchase it but I am waiting for my other hair oils to finish. I have I will start using the Bringaraj hair oil from Just Herbs which is my second purchase. I really like it. That product is very very good. Just Herbs hair oils are very very good. They are non-sticky, very light. This one was also very very good non-sticky and light, but it is very expensive. I really liked it but I am not going to buy it because uh, the price is way too high. I might buy it I'm not sure even about myself. I'm not sure. Uh, I am an impulse buyer. I might end up buying it sometime on a very good discount or deal. I used to apply it before shower, like before washing my hair, and my hair used to feel so nourished and so moisturized. Um, I just shampoo my hair and apply a little bit of conditioner, and I sometimes don't even use a serum, and my hair still still looked so good, like very soft, very manageable. very luscious so i think this oil definitely did a lot to the overall texture and experience texture and appearance of my hair so next product is this salvasu ginseng concentrated renewing cream light this is from a korean brand called salvasu salvasu is a premium like a luxury premium product this 60 ml jar was priced at rupees 17000 only and I used it like a miser. This is insanely expensive. Who uses creams of seventy thousand? Like what seventeen thousand rupees? This was sent by a PR. I would never have bought it in my right mind. Like I can never even think of buying or spending seventeen thousand on a cream. I would rather go to a dermatologist and get some treatment done on my face. That will be much more sensible action instead of buying a seventeen thousand rupees ka cream. This is very nice. It used to feel very, very, very good on the skin. I don't know what it did actually. It definitely my skin definitely looked smoother, but I think that effect can be achieved by using uh, lesser expensive products than this one. Of course, I'm not going to buy it, but if you are interested in um, shelling out a lot of money, you can give this a shot. This is a good product, but I don't know it has it has done any groundbreaking or mind-boggling. transformation in my skin it hasn't next i have this lip balm from mama earth this is in the shade coco i think i have one more yes so i managed to finish not one but two of these mama earth tinted lip balms these are hands down my favorite lip balms right now this doesn't roll up anymore and neither did this neither does this so you can see 
I have used up both the products. This rose one is my favorite, absolute favorite. And I am right now using their vitamin C one. See the rose one has the right amount of tint. It doesn't look like you're wearing a lipstick in the house. And the formula in these is very good. It just makes my lips so soft, so good and so uh, nourished. And I like the tint. I like the easiness, like ease of use. You can carry it around and you can use it. Just adds the right amount of tint. Very good. These both shades are very good. The cocoa and rose one. I will definitely repurchase rose. Definitely, definitely, without a doubt. Once I'm done with the two shades I have, I'm not that keen on those shades. Uh, on those shades because both of them are very dark. One is cherry and one is vitamin C. Both are very dark. Very, very good product. Uh, will highly recommend you guys. This was sent by the PR. I've already done a dedicated review on these two. Like not these two, but the range. And I really like them. Next, I have this uh, Pro Keratin and Argan Oil Shampoo from Scent Botanica. This is. I, I did not use this. My husband used it up. Uh, it, it took him a long time to finish this bottle. He did not give it a five star review. He just said it did its job, like cleanse the scalp well, and that's about it. So. It was an okay product. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I have not used it. Next, I have facial wash from Simple. This is their refreshing facial wash, 100% soap free. I really loved this. Used it up. Definitely going to buy it again during summers. I personally really like Simple's products. They are inexpensive. They are very good quality, and they are suitable for sensitive dry skin. This face wash was extremely good. Next, I have Laneige uh, Cream Skin Toner. I saw a lot of people um, giving it like five star reviews on Instagram. So I thought, you know, let's try the 50 ml bottle. I'm really happy that I did not pick a larger bottle. This is 50 ml bottle and it was also priced at rupees. I don't, I don't know, like 400 or 500 rupees. But I will tell you, if you have dry skin, please buy the supple preparation toner from Claire's. That's hands down the best toner you will ever buy for your skin or YBP's um, mist, they have a mist blue colored bottle. These two products are the best toners for dry skin. If you have dry skin, you should buy one of these. Not this, this was on a work, kind of an okay product. I will not buy it, I will not recommend it because it's, I did not like it, honestly. This one is supposed to moisturize your skin. Uh, it did it, but I think it was not sufficient for my dry skin. So for my dry skin, I would stick to either YBP mist or my Claire's toner. If you've watched my previous Amazon hauls, you must have seen me repurchasing a nice full-size bottle of that toner. I really love it and I use it all the time. That's my third bottle. So you can see that uh, the product is really amazing. Next, I have used up this The Skin Pantry Lime and Coconut Body Milk. This is again a very expensive product. I This is priced to be 2250. You are getting 200 ml and this brand, the Skin Pantry is like an organic skincare brand. The price is insane. And this did nothing, nothing for my dry skin. I did not like it. I just used it up because I did not want to throw it. The product that you see sticking on the side is I think it's the remaining one or two pumps because we couldn't pump it out and Abhi haath pe aise se karke lagana was too much so I said that you know let it go. So um, I will not recommend it. It's, they sent it to me but I would not have purchased it or repurchased it. This was supposed to be very very moisturizing and very uh, nourishing formula but it, if your skin is extremely dry buy Bioderma. Bioderma, uh, Atoderm, Cream or balm both are bomb. Or buy Juicy Chemistry's body butters, they are bomb. So if you have very dry skin, scaly, dry, flaky skin, these are good. Or you can also buy Nivea's 48-hour uh, lotion, which is which comes in this huge blue bottle. I have one, but not here. I think, I don't know where, it's, it's somewhere. But I always buy a full-size 400 ml pump bottle every winter. So that's really good. Next, I have a body cleanser from Kama. I really like Kama with us body cleansers. Uh, this must be my second purchase of this product. I bought it in Amazon haul and this is a lavender patchouli body cleanser and this was priced to be 675 for, two, for 200 ml and this lasted me a really long time. I am a soap person but during winters it's so freezing cold here in Delhi that nobody has time to rub soap. So I use a body wash during that time. So it worked beautifully. It is 
it smells really nice very therapeutic uh, i will definitely recommend it and buy it next time for sure so if you are looking for a good body wash that doesn't make your skin dry and at the same time smells really nice then you can give this a try next i have the delicate facial cleanser from Kash kashmiri saffron variation from um, for the essentials i really love this i already have one of this i do not buy the full size uh, bottles of forest essential uh, face washes purely because my skin is erratic uh, it sometimes feels so dry that's why i have around four different cleansers in my shower area if you are interested in knowing how many cleanser or why i use so many cleanser or what cleanser i use do let me know i have one from setafil i have one from house of beauty then there is one from dhc then there is one from relair and i also have one more from just herbs so these are the five cleansers i have and i use them totally according to my skin's mood so this one is nice but i think it is it foams up too much and it doesn't feel stripping but for some reasons like when a product foams up a lot i don't really like it on my face so i buy it for indulgence like whenever i want a little nice smelling face wash i use this so it is nice if you have a combination normal skin this is going to work really well the product is very good there is no fault in the product there is problem with my skin uh, this is nice uh, this tube this like this bottle this size is perfect if you want to try it and this is price rupees 350 for 50 ml and uh, i think uh, forest essential is a luxury brand so you'll have to shell out money if you want to try their products but so far i like uh, forest essential products a lot this just doesn't seem to be a nice fit for me at this point of time probably during summers i'm going to love it oh we were talking about clear toner this is my empty bottle of uh, the previous clear toner this is the scented one i think this has lavender fragrance yes this has a mild lavender fragrance the one i bought recently is unscented it came in this clear bottle i cannot uh, praise this product enough this is deep moisturizing balances ph level very very calming on your skin very good very very good product and it is what it does it just moisturizes your skin and makes it really soft and smooth this bottle is going to last you like what 4 months i was so bored i was like ye khatam ho jaye bhai kab khatam hoga ye this took me around 4 to 5 months i used to push it back in my shelf ki bhai mujhe nazar bhi mat aana tum itna bore ho gaye usko dekh dekh ke but then i ended up buying this after using other products because you know you go back to the best products so this is the best um, hydrating toner in the market and uh, i'm obviously i'm going to repurchase once i'm done with the one i'm using next i have uh, the rice ceramide cream from face shop this is hands down the best ceramide cream for summers for all skin types so i have used it up see i have cleaned the entire jar this smells so good and i already have two of these like two of these in my drawer uh, i have a backup drawer where i have a lot of skin care products that i have kept because i get sent a lot of products in pr i give away a lot of products on my instagram if you have if you are following my instagram it's just simply shalini you can follow me on instagram i give away a lot of products on instagram because i get so many products sent to me there are certain products that i always keep as backups i have two of these in my drawer so this is definitely a good product like really really good product if you have dry skin or if you have any skin type this is going to work really well it has ceramide complex you can use it after your actives or your exfoliants this is a non irritating very good quality amazing moisturizer for all skin types but for me right now this is um, you know this is a quite mellowed down milder moisturizer i right now use um, other moisturizer that are thicker in consistency but this is very very good if you if you want to buy a good moisturizer buy this this is faces canada ultim pro primerizer i did not like it i just used it up initially i thought it's a good product but then after few uses i was like it's not doing anything it's not doing anything at all i think this kind of face is tried to copy the vitamin e moisturizer or the primerizer from smashbox i don't have the primerizer from smashbox but i definitely have uh the bobby brown vitamin e face base that's far 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 better even if you buy uh the small tub which is for 900 rupees for i think 15 grams or 10 grams i don't remember this does nothing i'm not going to buy it i'll not recommend it now i have this innisfree black tea youth enhancing um ampule uh it is forming vitalizing brightening moisturizing it is rich in antioxidant it has really good ingredients list 
but for some reasons i was not satisfied or convinced with the formulation i did not find it doing anything for my skin it was a good hydrating and moisturizing face serum but apart from that i don't think it has done anything right now i really like to use products that that have only one ingredient for example right now i'm using uh, a retinol serum from olay and then i have a peptide serum from olay i know where i'm supposed to use them and with this kind these kind of serums you just uh, don't know whether they are working or not because anti aging is such a fancy word but you cannot really see uh, you will have to be very patient to notice the results but i think this i i don't know i did not enjoy it it was very expensive i bought it in a whim the way i always do i think this was for 2500 or I don't remember. This is very expensive. This lasted me a really long time. It was not getting over. It was such one such product. मुझे लग रहा था खत्म हो जाए. मैं बहुत bore हो गई थी इससे. खत्म नहीं हुआ. I used it during uh, like alternate days. क्योंकि एक दिन retinol, एक दिन ये लगाती थी. मैं लेकिन मुझे मजा नहीं आया इसको. So I'm not going to repurchase it, and I'm not going to repurchase it. Recommend it. Then I have face mist from Juicy Chemistry. Now this is the organic damask rose face mist. I love Juicy Chemistry face mist. I have a bigger bottle with me. Uh, in my uh, skincare cabinet i really love them they are very very good quality 100% organic products smell really nice this is a definitely a repurchase and i will keep repurchasing it because i really like rose mist in my uh, skincare stash next i have this coal and ceramide moisturizer from sugandha this was one of the best coal and moisturizers to be used during summers my skin is dry i like to apply a thicker night cream and this was Really, really good, and I could use it after my retinol or any other exfoliant because this has just squalene, ceramide, centella, and colloidal oatmeal, and I really liked it. Really good products, very, very, very good products. Sugandha products are are very good. I love them. I have still so many products from Sugandha. Uh, if you guys are interested, I can do a dedicated review on whatever products I have from this brand, and uh, I really liked it, and I'm definitely going to repurchase it right now. I have there. oat cream the sugandha that comes in the jar very thick very rich i slather it on my face whenever my skin is feeling very dry it works like magic you can use that cream on your kid as well so the products are really good this is very very good this is definitely a repurchase for me so next i have sondarya radiance cream from forest essentials i bought a 15 ml trial tub during uh, one of the amazon sale this was priced at rupees 1500 or something this small jar but it lasted me good one month one and a half months and i really liked it on my face i use it during the day in uh, during the day obviously and this is spf 25 it is very very good uh, it smells so good and it feels so good on the skin it has uh, it is not thick it has kind of a gel texture but it is rich and moisturizing So I ended up buying a uh, 30 grams jar from Nykaa later on. So this empty is definitely a repurchase, and I am so impressed with the quality of this product. I never thought I would like this product so much. This jar is also priced to be 30 to 50, and I have already used up so much of it. Is as you can see, I really like it. If you can, I mean, like if your budget allows, uh, then definitely give this a try. very good product i really like it and definitely a repurchase for me i will see how it works on my skin during summer because during summer my skin becomes very sweaty and i do not like thicker creams but right now it's going perfectly well and i'm and i think that cream is going to last me another month so so far this one is highly recommended next i have emptied a few serums first one is this um, first care activating serum from salvasu i had two of these these you are supposed to apply right after your cleanser these kind of enhance the performance of the serum that you apply after this i don't know i i don't know what to expect what i was expecting from these i used up the both the bottles and i did not see anything um any result anything i don't know i am still confused so i'm not going to buy it or recommend it um this is an expensive product even this small bottle was what 1850 for 15 ml you have to buy You can buy 15 ml to try, and this is price at rupees 1850. I think they have a smaller bottle than this as well that you can try. But I don't know if it's worth buying because I did not see it do anything for my skin. So I don't know. Next, I have three hyaluronic acid serums. I love using hyaluronic acid serum during summers. I even uh, during winters I love using hyaluronic acid serum. This is a staple in my. This ingredient is a staple in my skincare routine. Right now I'm using one from Henna Henna Beauty, which is lovely. 
देन आई हैव वन मल्टी मॉलिकुलर हाइलोरॉनिक एसिड सीरम फ्रॉम अर्थरदम दिस हैज फाइव मॉलिकुलर वेट लेवल्स फाइव असेंशियल सेरामाइड एज वेल दिस वॉज माई फेवरेट out of the three this was my favorite very 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 good it had ceramide as a hyaluronic acid like a blessing for dry skin used it up completely definitely a repurchase very very good product then i have two more hyaluronic acid serums this one is from l'oreal paris very very good very lightweight non sticky so the arthrodum one is slightly thicker in texture and consistency but these two are very very light this one has like 1.5% hyaluronic acid i have already reviewed it in uh, one of my videos very very good alternative very very good option and this was also not expensive i really liked it very thin good quality product recommended then i have this kombucha hyal glow serum it has five types of hyaluronic acid and kombucha kombucha is like a probiotic for your skin so it is going to take care of your microbiome like your skin's health so this product is also very 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 good this is from the brand called pure bubbles i was also going to buy a new bottle of this but at the same time i got sent uh, the henna henna hyaluronic acid and i have one from dot and key so i'm trying to finish those up then i'll buy a new one so the resolution for me during 2022 is going to finish whatever i have in my backup drawer there are a lot of products in my backup drawer if i don't buy anything for the entire year i i will still ab will be able to go through the year i have so many products so unless i run out of any of the hyaluronic acids i already have i'm not going to buy anything new so this one is definitely a beautiful product it is expensive i think this is price to be 1800 or something the quality of ingredients definitely matter and it's a small home grown brand so yeah then i have vcip serum <laughs> the bottle looks very uh, beaten up this is 15% vitamin c serum from sugandha i used it up very 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 good product it is an oil based product so it's going to work really well for dry skin if you have dry skin this is the perfect product for you you are going to get 10 ml this is priced at rupees 799 i really like sugandha's product they are very very good quality this is definitely a repurchase i'm definitely going to pick it up the next time right now i'm using vitamin c from uh, juicy chemistry they have launched a vitamin c serum i'm trying to use it up then i do not have any backup so i'll definitely pick this one up I also have vitamin C serum from Plum. Ah, uh, it was an okay serum. I did not see any result, any change in my skin. More than this, I like the Doctor Shed's vitamin C serum, which is much better and shows you results like nice glowing skin. This one is very very good. So I would rather buy Doctor Shed's than this. Next, I have few oil shots from Brulee. These are small bottles, small oil shots that you can use. These are for, I mean, as per the brand, these are for dry hair. But I don't think they do anything special for your dry hair. The texture is very, very thin. Uh, these were sent to me by the brand, so I thought of using them up because I had so many products in line. I thought, you know, let's at least finish something that can be finished. You can use one bottle for your entire hair at one go. So these lasted me good six weeks. I used. I used to use it once a week as like a deep conditioning treatment. These are nice, but I'm I don't know whether these are worth investing. Instead of buying these, you can buy a heavy duty hair oil from Juicy Chemistry or from Just Herbs or from Kama Ayurveda, Bringadi and all. These are these are nice, but do they really deeply nourish your hair? I'm not sure. I have one more uh, nail paint remover from Nykaa. Used it up completely. very good product i have two nail polish removers right here one from lakme one from nyka i'm not sure which one i'm going to pick i'm not choosy uh, when it comes to um, nail polish remover this is acetone free whichever i'll find on the goodest not i'll buy <laughs> i'll be honest i have one lip balm from fedusia botanical these lip balms are again my favorite lip balms very good very good tint very good formula i used it up completely see there's a little bit left but i think it got dusty and gunky so i had to i'm throwing it out otherwise you can see from this side i have used it up the the pump is pushed all the way up so very very good if you are looking for good um good ingredients in your lip balm looking for like a home grown natural brand then you can give this a shot next i have few products from uh few makeup products one is the lash paradise mascara 
very good mascara for um, this is a waterproof formula very good if you are looking for a mascara that can keep your lashes curled for a really long time and i also like how uh, it's not too expensive as well but it is a pain to remove i have to use oil based cleansers twice on my lashes to get rid of it which i don't really enjoy but if you are looking for a mascara for uh, a party or a gathering that can stay on for a really long time without smudging then to give this one a shot very very good then i have two eyeliners from like this one is from lotte london this is from uh, color pop both have dried up nothing special about them not going to purchase then i have an eyebrow pencil from nika i really liked it this is nika brow girl brow definer bewitch in bewitch chestnut used it up completely very good product i i'm not going to buy it even though i really like it because it has a very wide tip i mean the tip is not visible but you can see the opening and when i use a very wide tip uh, i get boxy brows because i don't have that many hair in my brows which i don't enjoy so i have started using these micro brow pencils and i'm enjoying them more but this product is very very good if you have fuller brows and you just need a brow pencil to fill them in this is a very very good option very affordable as well i like nika products in general they are good so with this we have finished the empties i think there were a lot of products because i'm i'm tired now i am feeling drained because i have been talking for almost i think what past one hour i don't remember and uh, these are all the products i managed to finish in 2021 i think uh, i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i'm going to link all the products in the description box uh, if you have any query related to any of these products just drop them in the comments below i'm definitely going to reply to them and uh, i will keep on doing these empties every 3 months because it doesn't really happen that every month you um, get rid of so many products so i kind of uh, managed to finish only one or two two products every month so uh, yeah that's why i just keep these empties for every three months every four months so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you very very soon in my next video till then take care and bye